They want you to be basic because they're basic. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Some people are threatened by your potential. Do you hear me? Some people are actually threatened by your potential, the level at which you choose to live. A lot of people don't even understand or see the things that you go through to get to the level at which you are at or which you are aspiring to be at, but they just see how you move. And a lot of people are threatened by that. So as a confident feminine woman, you have to be able to ignore the haters, ignore the jealousy, ignore the little snide remarks, and go about living the type of life you want to live. You have some women who are actually upset with you because you choose, and I'm going to be completely raw with you, because you chose to marry your baby daddy, <laughs> okay? In the culture that we live in right now, baby daddy, baby mama-ism, that is celebrated and glorified. And I understand that some people might not have had a choice, but some people would prefer for you to be a single mother instead of actually make your relationship work because now you can be more relatable. And I think the issue with a lot of women, they strive so hard to be relatable that they don't accomplish anything in their lives. I remember when we were filling out paperwork or I was filling out paperwork with my children at the school and they asked me, who does she live with, mom or dad? I looked at her like, it took every ounce of energy on the inside of me to not snap. But I said, she lives with mom and dad. We're married. And she gave me this look as if I wasn't supposed to say that. Like, no, sweetheart, I'm not a statistic. No, sweetheart, I'm not the average young black lady you see here with the kids. And I hate to say it that way, but that's how a lot of people see it because that's what they're used to. And if us as women would change the standard of what we accept in a relationship and what we expect and accept from men and the people in our lives, we would not have so much of this baby daddy, baby momism, and we'd have more wives and husbands. But because we are allowing culture to encourage us to embrace struggle instead of not caring about other people's jealousy, their little remarks, their little, you know, ways of trying to get at you and just live the way you know you should live. We are being subjected to these little dumb sayings that people have like, is she living with mom or dad? And that pissed me off to no end. I must tell you that. But I can't even blame her because that's what she's used to seeing. So, ladies, I say that to say we must have a standard. And when you have a standard, when you say, you know what, I am good enough to be a wife. And being a wife is not just a piece of paper. I hate when people say marriage is just a piece of paper. It absolutely is not. It is a bounding, binding commitment that that man cannot just skip out on you. That woman cannot just skip out without consequence. And then more than that, it's spiritual. It is a covenant between you, him, and the Lord. So we really downplay these things because once again, we're trying to be relatable. I remember years ago buying a book called The Happy Wives Club because I felt like I needed to buy that book because a lot of the people that I were around they were in unfortunate relationships. They were in relationships where there was a lot of domestic violence. There was a lot of issues, a lot of cheating, a lot of stealing, a lot of everything. And me and my little born regular life, you know, of course, me and my husband have, you know, regular arguments, little tiffs, issues, whatever, but nothing so major, nothing so grand. And because of that, I always felt like I had to downplay my blessing and try to find something I can nitpick at or complain about when I'm with the other bidders in order to make myself appear to be relatable. But when I got to the point where I realized, you know what, trying to constantly be relatable, it's like a slap in the face to yourself. And you really should not have to downplay your blessing in order to make somebody else feel good about themselves. You know what I mean? Like you shouldn't have to say, well, 
my husband come home late sometimes. Like you're just trying to find stuff to talk about, to say something negative, because that just seems to be the norm for everybody else, if that makes sense. You got to find something to complain about. And I used to be that way. And under no stretch of the imagination is my life perfect. Was it perfect then or is it perfect now? Absolutely not. But nobody's cheating. Nobody's stealing. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. And sometimes that can make you a threat to people who, who always have a lot of drama, who always have a lot of issues. So you ever find yourself just the quiet one in the conversation, the quiet one in the room, because you really can't say much because you really can't relate because you don't understand because you haven't been there. And it's not that you're looking down on them, but when you're dealing with people who look down on you for not having drama, for not having cheating, stealing, and doing all these different things, and you're just living the best way you can through the grace of God and being blessed for it, and they just don't respect it. They're just like, oh, you're phony, because that's what a lot of women like to say, too, when they see women who are generally just living in a relatively healthy relationship doing what they're doing, living their life, being somewhat carefree and stress less. They look at you like, oh, you think you're better. Oh, you think this, you think that, you're bougie. All these other dumb sayings that haters and jealous, envious people like to say. You really have to just know how to tune it out and say, I am blessed, I am highly favored, and I will not speak negatively on my situation in order to make somebody else feel good about theirs. Get your life together. You don't have to say that, but you can think that. And meditate on your blessings. Meditate on what God has given you. Don't feel like you have to find issue where there is no issue. And if you're around people who make you feel like you have to downplay your life in order to relate to them, you don't relate to them. And I can tell you that every woman walking out here, she's not bitter and miserable. Every woman walking around out here is not in a relationship with somebody who's cheating or messing around or don't really love her. Every woman walking out here is not in a relationship with a man who can't stand her. There are some women who have happy, healthy relationships. Even us young black women. Yep, us too. We are in happy, healthy, long-term relationships. So don't be fooled by people who are always talking about the struggle, talking about men do this, men do that. I think we have like a spirit of confusion that's lurking around that's trying to get men and women to hate one another. And that is so unfortunate because the feminine and the masculine operate together. And that is so much more deeper than what I can even say in this video. But we really have a dynamic where... You have bitter women trying to make women hate men and you have women hating men who are trying to get men to feel like they don't even need women. They're jealous of women, which gives me the ick when you think about a man being jealous of a woman, but they're out there. This kind of thing is out there. So I know this video was kind of all over. There's really, you know, I touched on jealousy. I touched on relationships, but Really, it's just about living your best feminine life the way you know how to and trusting God to keep you protected from the haters, jealous, and envious, bitter people that are seeking to get you to downplay your life and talk negatively when you have no reason to. If you are around people who only feel comfortable when you have something to complain about about your life, but they can't celebrate the good things that you're going through, those are not the people you need to be around, okay? Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watched it till the end, put the hi hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely appreciate you. And hit the like button. Take care.